This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Most Blessed Sacrament Catholic School. Whether it's learning to make music with steel pans, getting a daily reinforcement of religious values, or taking Advent celebrations up a notch. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Students who attend Most Blessed Sacrament Catholic School in Berlin get an education like no other. Del Marble Life's Katie Zarelli packed her backpack, sharpened her pencils, and today we sent her to the classroom. She joins us now to teach us a lesson on why this school stands out. Jimmy and Lisa, for more than 15 years now, students from all over the Eastern Shore have selected Most Blessed Sacrament Catholic School as the place that they want to learn and grow. And there are a number of reasons for that. And we're here in the school's library today to talk a little bit more about that with Nicole B. Horner, who is the president of the Home and School Association. So, Nicole, it all starts with the school's philosophy, right? Yes. Our philosophy is we're dedicated to the whole child, nurturing that through, through our teaching and teachings and through our gospel values. So how do you do that? We do that with our everyday life. We, with our, between home, school, church, and being part of the community. And I think a cool example of that we saw today is we had some priests at the school. Yes, we have eight sponsoring parishes throughout the Domarva. We had Father Kikuchi and Father Solomon was here today and they did the blessing of the doors and it happens every year around the time of the Epiphany and it blesses the, each person that enters and exits throughout that door. Fun fact, a bunch of people are going to be entering the doors this weekend, right? Yes! This weekend on Sunday um, from 12 to 2.30 we have our open house. We will have um, teachers and parents on in the building to give tours to show you how we operate on our everyday basis. What do you think people can learn from attending that open house? I think people will be able to see the classrooms and the vibrance that we bring. They'll be able to see some of the books that we have available through our through what the kids use every day through our teachings. And someone they're going to be able to meet is guidance counselor Teresa Gabbard and we're going to go up and meet her right now, right? Yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> now, Teresa here has been here for 12 years. Now, Teresa, you must have seen students grow so much over those 12 years. I have. It's been, re it's been really fun to watch. Um, I've had my own students here, my children. Three of them graduated and are all in high school and college now. And um, yeah, the development has been awesome from watching them. We developed a pre-3 program and then um, our middle school, 6th through 8th. And um, just the development of certain programs has been awesome to watch over the years. And something else you've seen develop is STREAM, mm -hmm. right? Tell mm -hmm. us about that. So most schools um, offer the STEM program. We offer STREAM, which is science, technology, religion, engineering, arts, and math. And um, our teachers, our core teachers, they integrate lessons together so we can develop um, the student in all those areas through different lessons that they prepare. Um, and it's awesome. We have all the grades participating and all the teachers participating together and working together to make that happen. And some people might not know is that people can go to middle school here. Absolutely. So our school goes all the way through eighth grade. And um, our, we have some new teachers in middle school which are offering so much in the science program, the math program, ILA. Um, and, and it's been fun to watch that develop over the years. We have performing arts. Um, we have activity periods where they get to learn cooking and woodworking. We have a variety of things that we try to offer them just so they get a little dabbling in many areas of life. Excellent. And you. People of all faiths are welcome. Absolutely, yes. You do not have to just be Catholic to be here. All faiths are welcome. And again, when they come to the open house, hopefully they feel that. Um, it's about kindness and love here, so we really stress that with all the students. The teachers stress that, and I hope parents feel that if they visit us this Sunday. And say somebody comes and visits this mm -hmm. Sunday and they're like, I've got to get my student in there now, or the student says, I want to go there now. Can they do that? Absolutely. They have to speak with Amanda or Nicole, our admissions directors right now, and they just have to call and set up a time to come visit. But yes, they can transfer mid-year. They don't have to wait till September. They can come. We're welcome to have them now. And if they're not sure whether or not they want to come to the open house, why would you say, hey, come? I would say definitely come. It's worth seeing. It's worth feeling the love when you walk in the building. Um, it's worth meeting the teachers and then calling and making an appointment to come even on a school day to see it in action, to see the students. I think it's very valuable too. There you have it. All right. Well, thank awesome. you so much for your time. I thank hope you get you. a lot of people at this open house. Thank you very much. All right. Jimmy and Lisa, back to you. They are always doing something fun and interactive to help the students learn and grow. If you missed any of those details, the open house takes place this Sunday, January 26th, noon until 2.30 at Most Blessed Sacrament Catholic School. That's on Racetrack Road in Berlin. It is a great place. I've been there. What a fantastic program mm -hmm. and people. And people, indeed.